Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In previous sessions, we have discussed how to fetch the data from the database by using MVC and stored procedure. And we have discussed how to insert the data into database. So we created one view like this. And whenever user clicks on create, so we are creating product and we are binding in the index space. In today's session, we are going to create a view like this to edit the product. Whenever user clicks on update, so we have to update the data and we have to display the success message like this. Before continuing with this session, I would request you all, please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for notification alerts. So this is our previous example. So we created a product master. Whenever user clicks on create new product, you can create the new product. Whenever user clicks on this edit button, we have to display this view. So it will be binded the data by using the product ID. So whenever user clicks on update, so we have to update the data and we have to display the confirmation message here and we have to bind the updated data to index. And we need two stored procedure. Whenever user clicks on edit, we have to get the data by ID. For that, I am going to create one stored procedure. Click on new query. So this is my stored procedure name. So I'm going to get the product by ID. For that, I have to pass one parameter. This will be integer data type. So this is our table structure. We need product name, price, quantity, and remarks. Directly we can copy it from here. I need product name, then price, quantity, and remarks. Here we have to pass our parameter in the where condition where product ID is. So this is my product ID. Click on execute, stored procedure is created. So you can check the stored procedure by pausing product ID. Here we have multiple products. I'm going to create product ID as to execute. So I'm able to get the product ID which is having two. So now we are able to get the data based on ID. Whenever user clicks on edit, we will get the product ID here. From that we are going to fetch the details of product here we need one more stored procedure to update the data so this is our insert stored procedure same thing we can use it here i'm copying i'm going to new query paste it here so i'm going to create stored procedure update products so this is my stored procedure name and here I have to pass parameter of product ID also. I am passing product ID, name, price, quantity and remark. Here I am checking product details. If there is any product name available with the product name which is we are trying to update then we should not update the product. If it is not available then only we have to update it. For that here and product id is not equal to same product id so then only i have to check the duplicate things if same product id again they are trying with the same name then we have to allow for that i am using product id not equal to the product id which is passing by the user here and here we have to update instead of insert we have to update this here i am going to write update we have to pass the table name and here we have to pass all these column names like product name we have to set product name here it will be available in the parameter product name then we need price
so this is my product update query so whenever user is passing product id product name price quantity remarks i have to check the is there any product available with the same name which is not equal to this product so then if it is available then i have to skip if it is not available row count we will get it as zero so that time i have to update the table where that product id is which is passed by user execute so this is my stored procedure to update the products so now both our stored procedures are ready one is to get the data by id and one more is to update the products now open the visual studio in dal folder we have the data access layer of product now we need one more function to get the products based on product id this is my function name and here i have to pass one parameter so here we have to provide our stored procedure name this is stored procedure name here i have to pass one parameter here we have to pass the parameter with the value value will be available in product id and parameter name is this is the parameter so based on this parameter we will get the data table we are converting data table into the list of products so which we have the only single product this will be product id name price quantity and remarks we will get it from this stored procedure we need one more function to update the products for that i am taking inset function we will do the few changes based on our requirement update product this is the function we are going to use here we need one more parameter product id also required here because we are going to pass product id also based on product id only we are going to update the table because this is the primary key here we have to change our stored procedure name this is our update product function so where we are passing the product model so this is our product model product id name price quantity and remarks available in this model class so this object we created to store the product model values here we are passing pro stored procedure along with the parameters here we are assigning our product values to these parameters so once it is executed we will get return value as 1 or 0 if it is once the record is updated successfully then we will get the integer i value as 1 otherwise we will get 0 greater than 0 we are converting into the boolean value as true if it is not updated then we are sending as false now we will open the controller this is our product controller which is used for previous example we are going to continue with the same thing so whenever user clicks on this edit we have to redirect to this form for that we need to create one view right click on the action method click on add view select the mvc file view click on add so view name will be edit here i am going to select the template as edit model class which is available inside our models folder that is product model click on add it's going to create a view for us like this so now our view has been created here we have to pass the values based on this product id so this is our index where it is redirecting to edit action method so it is passing the product id so based on this product id we have to get the data from the database for that where products equal to so this is my data access layer where i can read the product by id and here i am going to pass the id 
here products dot count is zero here i am going to display a message like information this is my information product not available with id here we have to pass the id that is this is my id term we have to convert into string because it is a integer if it is records are available then we have to assign this product to this view So if it is products are not available then we have to redirect into the action method index. Now we will run the application. This is our product master. Here we will try to edit any product. Click on edit. we are finding a error here so here product id column is not available inside the this data table so while fetching from the id based on id here we have not passed the product id here we need product id also product id execute now so we have to alter this execute now we will run the application click on edit so this is generic list error we are getting here we are going to get the product as dot first or default we have to stop this so now we can fix that error so now this also have to change if it is null then I have to display this information message now run it so click on the product master click on edit now so we are able to fetch the data based on the product ID I will go to back to list and I will try with some other product so we are fetching correctly now we will change this buttons label as update this is our edit view this i will make it as success and i want to change this value as update because we are going to update this suppose we are passing some other value which is not available that is product id just enter now so it will show as product not available with id so like this we can validate so here i am entering so here instead of 2006 I am entering as 15 enter product not available with ID 5. Now whenever user clicks on this update we have to update these details into the database. For that stop the application go to controller we have to post the data from controller to our data access layer. For that I am going to change this as update product I'm changing the action method name here I'm going to pass my product model this is my object name because in our data access layer we are passing the model class of product that's why here I'm going to pass our product whenever user clicks on this update button so we are going to get the product model here we have to change the action name also 
edit if model state is valid then I have to update the product so this is going to return as boolean value for that bool is updated I'm going to store the value inside this dot update product here we have to pass the our product object suppose if it is updated successfully then I have to display the message if failed I have to pass the value here so this is our success message which we used in previous example product details updated successfully so if it is failed then we have to display message like this so once it is successfully updated then we have to return to our index method this is our method so we have to select entire code block right click click on snippet surround with try cache block so that if there is any error also we can fix easily so already we use the try cache block here we have to display the error message record is updated successfully or if it is failed it is going to redirect into the index view and we can display the success message or its failed message if there is any error inside this cache we have to redirect into our edit view and we have to display this error message for that so this is the message we display to user in previous example while creating the product so we'll keep a debug point here run the application So click on edit here we don't have any remarks I'm entering as update click on update it's coming into my controller so here we are able to get all the data like product ID name price quantity and remarks model state is valid true so now we are updated product successfully and continuing so product details updated successfully click on edit again here I am adding product ID which is not available in the database enter so product not available with the ID so and so number so like this we can use the update functionality in MVC by using stored procedure in next session we are going to discuss about this delete functionality as well as the details that's it for today thanks for watching my video